Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be using these tools. I've got some sentiment dies, a stitched banner die, a leafy branchy die and a stencil with various size circle holes in it. I'm also going to be using some bits from my box of backgrounds and bits. So the first thing I'm going to do is treat this with anti-static powder, also known as talcum powder, and then pop that on there. And then I've got two sticky notes here, and I'm gonna tear a torn edge and mask off this side of the card here and this side of the card here. Then I'm going to take my stencil, place that over the top and hold that down with a bit of washi to stop it shifting. I've got my grip mat here, but with all of what's going on, there's not a lot of stencil in contact with the grip mat. So I'll just hold it with washi and to blend through my stencil, I'm going to use black soot distress oxide. It's not the uh, blackest of blacks. It's more a dark charcoal gray, I think. But it will do the trick for this. And because I'm using Distress Oxide, which is a pigment ink, or it has pigment in it, it's a hybrid ink, it stays wet for longer than a dye ink, say, which means you can put embossing powder over the top of it and it will stick. So I'm going to take off my masks now. I didn't take it off before I sprinkled over the embossing powder because there may be some sticky residue here and I didn't want the embossing powder to stick to that. So now I've got some lovely shiny slightly dimensional black dots running down my card front. The heat embossing does darken the colour a bit so they look more black than they would if I didn't do the heat embossing on top. So off camera I've done three more of these. I've done a diagonal, I've done a bottom diagonal and I think I might have overheated this slightly because I've singed that but I'm going to try and still use it and see what I can do and then we've got a horizontal band on a portrait card. And I've been through my box of backgrounds and bits and pulled out four bits that I think will work as sentiments. And I'm going to use some of these creative expressions dies to cut out my sentiments from these backgrounds. So I've got thankful and grateful and amazing. And then we've got you are for my I'm friend. So, and I think I'll do the main word in colour and then these ones here I think I'll think about. So I've cut my sentiments out. They need a bit of something extra to help them stand out, especially this friend one. I think I might have to add some more colour to it because it's not really standing out on there. But I've also cut some stitched fishtail banners that I'm going to use on top of the spotty bit as well. So I've decided to fix this singed portion by chopping it off and all I've done is turn the rectangle die that I used to cut the original panel out through 90 degrees, stuck it on so that it's square and then I've run that through my cuttle bug and that's now given me a nice square piece. So for this one I'm going to put the friend here and I'll have something here, maybe some flowers or something. But I want to make that a little bit darker. So I've just got my blender here, which has got residual ink on it, salvage patina, peacock feathers, that kind of colour. Let's darken that up nicely. And the glue I'm using to stick this to the vellum is matte gel medium because it's bound to square out the sides. And if it does, it's matte so it won't leave any glossy marks on the vellum. I'm going to add it on this end. I'm going to pop an acrylic block on top of that just to hold the friend down while it sticks. 
So I'm going to do a little experiment here just to see if this is going to work. I've cut another amazing out of white card and I'm going to put it face down in some matte gel medium. Flip it over the right way up might help. So it's sticky on its front and I'm going to try and line up this white die cut with the back of the colourful die cut that I've stuck on top of the vellum. I think I've just about managed that. There's a tiny little bit visible over here. I don't think that's going to matter too much because that's just going to give that vellum a tiny little bit of lift off of the background. Now I'll gently put that in there and just press down on the word so the back of the die cut rather than the vellum gets glue on it. I hope this is making sense. And stick that on there like that. Getting it level. And I think that's worked. So I'm going to do the same thing to the others. So I've had a little think about how to add the kind of I don't know, they're not sub-sentiments, they're just the first part of the sentiment, the non-background die-cut part of the sentiment. And I decided to go with gold glitter cardstock, but it's a very pale champagne gold. So although it's gold and sparkly, it's not too attention-grabbing. It's a fairly subtle gold. So I've die-cut them out of that glitter paper and I'm going to stick them on. So now we've got you are amazing for my friend, I'm grateful and thank you and I've put them on card blanks. This one is just going to be a small note card and I can make an envelope for that so using my envelope punch board and I'm thinking these three are finished although I might add some gold glitter cardstock circles, little dots. I'll have a think about whether or not that will add or detract. I'm thinking for this one to fill up this little gap here, a gold leafy thing. Right, I think I'm going to leave these three alone. There's enough going on with the shiny black dots in the background, the bright colourful sentiment, the gold glitter, extra words, the vellum. I could possibly add some glossy accents maybe to this one and this one to the sentiment piece to give it a bit of shine and dimension. I could have heat embossed them before I stuck them down with clear embossing powder. That would have been another thing I could have done. This one, I quite like matte. I think it's dark enough to stand out on its own. And this one is fine now I've added that extra ink. These two are quite pale. A little bit of crystal glaze or glossy accents might just bring them out a bit, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave them as they are for now. Well, I hope that's given you a few ideas for some clean and simple cards that you could make using bits from your collection of backgrounds and leftover bits of mixed media or pattern paper, anything colourful that you've got lying around. If it has, please do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon for my next clean and simple card making video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.